Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated eyebrow tutorial, eyebrow routine tutorial, kind of what I've been doing to match this auburn hair. I like doing these every once in a while because my hair changes, so I like changing the same hair color as my eyebrows, so let's go. Also, this is an update, day one, or day two of my Botox, this is what it looks like. You can definitely see my lip is more lifted up. That's what it looks like. Let me get closer. It definitely looks more raised up. And this is me smiling. The hardest I can. I can still see my gum line. It does take two weeks for it to develop the Botox, so I'm just going to be doing videos now. But yeah, let's go, let's get it. I'm gonna take a hit on my pen. <sighs> Crazy thing about yesterday is I went to Fresno and I went to go get that um, lip flip done with the Botox. I got a total of four units, you guys. Um, Two on each side. It was a huge syringe like this filled with product. She did two white lines and then she just injected it evenly on both sides. But yeah, let's do the eyebrows. I actually got this eyebrow, um, this eyebrow pomade on Amazon and it matches the color of my hair perfectly. It's in the color Auburn. It's by DNM. I've never heard of that brand, but yeah. Should I zoom you guys in? There you go. A little better. Try not to get the the freaking mirror in the picture, but it's gonna be kind of hard. Oh, let me try to get another mirror. Let me use my makeup savvy mirror. Yes. Makeup savvy cosmetics. So yeah, the crazy thing about yesterday is after I went to go get my um my Botox um for the lip flip, I went to go get a piercing after. I was calling different shops when I was out there. I was like, might as well just get it done because it's probably gonna be cheaper if I come out here to get it because it's in the city. And I, where I live, I'm not I'm not in a city, I'm like in a town. And everything, if you want to go to somewhere, is, like, far away, if you know what I mean. Like, you have to drive, like, 30 minutes to get to somewhere. If you need to go to, like, a bigger store or, like, something cool, like, to get to. Certain stores that you need to get to that you don't have around here, you know? So, I was like, let me hit up this, um shop and see how much they charge to do piercings right and i got the christina piercing if you know what the christina piercing is comment down below so i got the christina piercing i called i was like hey do you guys do the christina piercing and he's all like yeah we do and i was like how much is it and he was like it was blank dollars and i was like oh my god yes let me get it and then i called back because i wasn't sure if i was gonna get it or not and then I was like, do you have to make an appointment or do you can go for a walk in? And he's like, oh, you can just do a walk in. I was like, okay, it's perfect because I'm, I'm coming from an hour away and I need to do a walk in because I can't come back another day. And I'm here already, so I might as well just get it done. He was like, okay, I just come in. And I was like, okay, I'll be there in like, I don't know how long I told him. And then um, I'll tag the shop down below. But the guy was really cool. Like, I have to start off by saying the piercing did not hurt at all. The way he did it. I wish I would have gotten the name of who did it. Um, I think I have his business card in my car. Um, but yeah, the way he did it, it did not hurt. I know it's crazy for me to say that it didn't, that piercing did not hurt, but it didn't hurt. Like, I'm going to tell you that. It was like a freaking, like a solid four or like a three. And then, like, it did not hurt. Even when he transferred the jewelry into the the piercing, like, it didn't even hurt either. Like, it was so fast. It was, like, so painful, painless. 
that it didn't even hurt. I'm just putting concealer. Totally went off topic right there, but yeah, you guys. If you guys want to see it, go on Google. And you guys will find um, piercings. I mean, you guys will find that piercing and like the anatomy and what it looks like. But it's basically on my private part. <laughs> I just put concealer all around, just carving out the eyebrow, cleaning it up basically, you know, making it look more defined, highlighting the brow also at the same time. Yeah, it was a really cool experience. I also have my nipples pierced. That really didn't hurt either. I wish I could have recorded it for my OnlyFans when I got it done yesterday. But there was like freaking signs everywhere saying that there's no phones allowed, no cameras allowed. And I was like, what the flip? I was like, all right, then I guess I can't record. You know, I should have asked them just like, just, you know, out of curiosity. Like, maybe he'll let me record this for my OnlyFans, you know, but... <laughs> I don't think he would have let me because there was like signs I sort of got like everywhere saying like no phones do not record no camera phones like this and that like no videos I was like oh my god they can't make it any more clear it was a pretty cool shop too like um they do tattoos I'll leave them it's Fresno tattoo and body piercing or something like that Fresno body piercing and tattoo something like that they're on Google. They're like the first ones that came up when I when I Googled um, tattoos and piercings near me. They showed up. They were like the first ones that showed up. So I was like, oh, that's cool. But yeah, let me just put on some moisturizer because I have not even moisturized you guys. Oh my gosh. I almost freaking forgot. Now I feel better. <laughs> now I'm just blending out the concealer. You don't have to do this, but I might just leave it like this. I'm not sure yet. Because, oh man, I just saw my eyebrows messed up. That's what I get for looking in the mirror too closely for too long. Sometimes you have to, like, back up and see what your makeup looks like from far away, you know? Because from close up, it, it's not always going to look like... The same as when you like back up. So back up, look at your makeup, fix it, you know. It's kind of what I did, but yeah. And that's it for my eyebrow routine, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to rate, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys all. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay blessed. Bye.